Hi, I'm Ann, and I'm going to show you how to make fried cauliflower fried rice. Maybe we should say fried rice, um, because we're not actually using rice, we're going to be using cauliflower. So why would you make fried rice without rice? Um, I can think of a couple of reasons. For me, sometimes I don't have cooked rice on hand and I don't have time to cook rice, so I'll use cauliflower, cauliflower instead of the rice and it's a lot faster. Um, also sometimes, I just want something a little lighter. So cooked brown rice, one cup of that has about 215 calories and one cup of cauliflower rice has only about 25 calories. So sometimes I'm in reduction mode and I just want to go for something with a little bit less, uh, that's a little bit less caloric. Now, that's not to say I don't love fried rice. I love it, I love to use brown rice, but sometimes this is a fun alternative. So I have some ingredients here that I'll use in the stir fry. It's like what you would use probably in any fried rice. I have, these are sugar snap peas. You can use any vegetables you like. You can use frozen green peas. You don't even have to thaw them. They can go straight into the pan without um, being thawed. I have some um, carrots that I've kind of cut in a matchstick, but I think I'm gonna cut these a little bit smaller just so they'll cook more quickly. Um, so this whole dish comes together in only maybe 15, 20 minutes. And to be honest, we were at a meeting last week and one of the editors said, what can we do for Facebook Live? Um, and what did you have for dinner last night? <laughs> and as it turns out, I had made cauliflower fried rice for my family the night before. So we thought, okay, well let's do this. Um, like I said, it's really easy. It's really quick. And you won't believe how much it looks like rice. And if you try it, you'll see that it tastes kind of like rice. Now I have um, kids at home. I have two boys, ages 10 and 10, <laughs> because they are twins. Um, and they love this. You know, they're good eaters. They're good vegetable eaters. Um, they love this because the cauliflower has kind of a neutral flavor that works really well in this application. So I'm just gonna chop the garlic up, not too fine, because you know what? On a busy week night, I don't have time. So, I'm just gonna kind of coarsely chop it up. It's good to know, so you don't have to do these super finely minced pieces of garlic. No, I say, you know, on a busy week night, just do what makes life easy, mm -hmm. really. Um, and that's why, like I said, I love this cauliflower rice because it's really quick, really quick to cook. Um, if you have leftover brown rice, say from, you know, a restaurant meal, that's great. But a lot of times, I just don't have that. So I'm also using here green onions. And again, I'm using these because they cook more quickly than white or yellow onions. Um, it just takes like a minute or two. I'm going to keep them on the board and I'm going to start the white parts just a few seconds before I start these darker green parts because this is a little bit more tough. I want it to cook just a little bit longer. Okay, so these are the ingredients that are going to go in my stir fry. I also have some shrimp over there, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, but I also wanted to show you. So you can make your own cauliflower rice using your food processor. You can use a shredding blade. I usually don't do that because <laughs> it kind of ends up making a mess everywhere. I'll often make it just on um, my box grater. So what you do is you just take raw cauliflower and you grate it. And it still, you know, makes a little bit of a mess. You get little bits and pieces going on your board. But look how cool this is. This is cauliflower, this is riced cauliflower. And so it's kind of shreddy. Some pieces are longer shreds. Some pieces are little bitty nibbins, as I call them. Um, and they just cook up great in the skillet. And those actually get a little more rice texture than the food processor gets a little more like yeah, grainy. A little, grainy. little more granular, right. Yeah. So I'm gonna do a little bit more and I'm gonna toss this in to the stir fry. So you can do this at home. It's really easy, it doesn't take long, it doesn't take any real specialty equipment. Or, now I'm gonna be honest here, busy weeknights, I use products that help me out. So you can find fresh or frozen riced cauliflower in a lot of grocery stores. This is frozen, it came from Trader Joe's, and I'm gonna use this for the bulk of the fried rice today. So, 
I'll use shortcuts wherever I can. Life, life is busy. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here. I've got a skillet that I've preheated and it's all gonna go very quickly from here. So I have a little bit of toasted sesame oil and that's just gonna add a lot of really rich, nutty flavor. Just gonna use a little bit of it for now. And it smells so good. First, I'm gonna start the tougher parts of the green onion and the carrots and the sugar snap peas. These are sugar snap peas that I just cut into like three pieces each just to make it a little bit smaller so that again, they're gonna cook a little bit more quickly than if I had whole peas in there. I like everything to retain a little bit of crunch because I think that texture is really nice. So I'm just gonna get these started for a minute or so. And now I'm just using a regular stainless steel skillet. Usually when I'm making fried rice using brown rice, I'll use a wok. Uh, but I actually have never used my wok for cauliflower rice. So if anyone out there has, please let us know in the comments. Let us know how that works. I'm sure it would work fine. I just, I don't know why. I've just never done it. Someone asked if you could use broccoli. So that's a good question. Uh, we were talking earlier about what else you could rice. I'm sure you could use broccoli. It would probably shred up to the same texture. It's just broccoli has such a strong flavor. Um, I think you wouldn't, I, which I love, and I think that could be great. It's just I don't think it would pass as rice if you have maybe pickier eaters in the home. Um, I think it would be obvious. Aside from the color, um, I think that the flavor would just be a little bit more pronounced. Katie's used a wok before and she said it works really well, especially for oh, larger portions. Thank you, Katie. That's great. I'm happy to know that. And yeah, in a wok, you can get everything going, lots of food in there, and um, nothing's going to fly out of the pan. Okay, so I've just gone a minute or so with that. Can I add in the garlic? I never add the garlic at the beginning because I'm afraid it will burn. I always want to wait until there's other food in the pan that can kind of help to buffer the heat. And I just don't want it cooking too, too long because it might burn. Now, if you have fresh ginger, that would be delicious in the stir fry. Just grate some fresh ginger into it. This is my sort of easy peasy, get it done dinner. So I'm keeping it very simple here. An electric wok. I've never used an electric wok here. Oh, I haven't, no. Hmm. Could you boil the cauliflower first and then put it through a ricer? I, I don't think I would recommend that because I think it would be just hard to control the texture yeah. if you boiled the cauliflower first. And it kind of makes a mashed potato, mashed cauliflower yep. more that way, right? Right, yeah. right. Okay, so I'm just gonna put in the rest of the green onion. And then that fresh cauliflower that I grated up. And now I'm going to open my bag of frozen. Again, we're keeping it real here, people. This is the, <laughs> this is my real life. Here's a question. Somebody asked if you could use if you could mix the onion and the garlic and use olive oil. That's a lot of differences. Yeah, I mean, but you could. Um, you know, I learned um, a week or so ago that extra virgin olive oil works beautifully over high heat. If it's a quality extra virgin olive oil, you don't have to worry about the smoke point like you do with um, some oils that might um, develop off flavors over high heat. I'm not going over super high heat here anyway, but you could definitely use olive oil. If you don't love uh, you know, onions and garlic, I say, you know, just leave them out. Use whatever vegetables you like. That's another thing I love about doing this type of dish, cauliflower fried rice, is that there are a ton of vegetables in this pan. Mm -hmm. When I serve this to myself and my family, I feel really good because I know that we're getting a lot of vegetables. So the frozen and the fresh, whichever you use, um, the frozen or the fresh cauliflower, just takes a few minutes to cook. I'm gonna let it just kind of sit there for a second. Um, sometimes I like to let it get a little bit browned on the bottom. Um, and so if you just kind of crank the heat up a little bit and let it sit there for a second, 
it might start to develop a little color. So you're doing this as a main tonight, but it could also be a side. Absolutely, right? yeah. absolutely. This could certainly be a side dish because it's a wonderful light, just full of vegetables um, dish. I'm gonna add shrimp to make it a main dish. Now you can use whatever you want. If you don't like shrimp, don't use shrimp. Use them um, if you have leftover chicken, that's great. Or if you wanna cook, brown up some cubed chicken thighs, that would work really well. Some shredded leftover pork would be great, or what some. Um, an egg. Yes, absolutely. You know what I've done before? Actually, we can go off road and we could do it here. Um, so <laughs> what I've done before? We're, we're going off roading, people. Okay, so what I've done before is that we're going to do right here um, is I've just cleared out a spot in the middle of the skillet and added eggs. Because a lot of times when I'm doing fried rice at home, I'll thank you. I'll. Um, Add a little bit of scrambled egg. I'm not even gonna scramble this. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil in here. Crack an egg into the pan. And then just sort of scramble it on the fly. What I like to do is kind of get it a little bit set, but not fully cooked, and then toss it in with everything. I'm gonna let it get just a little bit more cooked, and then I just toss it together. So I love that texture and it adds a little bit more protein. So if you wanted to skip meat altogether, you could definitely do this. As it continues to cook, that egg will brown up a little bit and that'll be great. Um, you could use some diced tofu that you browned off if you like that. Um, that would be delicious here. Somebody say ground pork. Oh yes, ground pork would be wonderful. Um, some people are even doing half rice, half whole grain rice, half cauliflower to kind of mix up the texture. Oh, I love that. I think the texture would be awesome. And it would cut the calories some, but you wouldn't miss out on that wonderful kind of chewy texture that brown rice would give you. I love that. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. This is lower sodium soy sauce, which just a staple in my home. Um, that's going to be kind of the main seasoning and main salt, aside from all those other good flavors we've already put in, the garlic and the onions and the sesame oil. So this is pretty much done. I'm just going to add in some shrimp. This is cooked shrimp. Um, you can buy frozen pre-cooked shrimp or just kind of um, brown off some shrimp that if you have raw shrimp or boil it. How long do you typically cook shrimp um, before this, before adding it in? That's a good question. I would typically slightly undercook the shrimp because it's going to cook a little bit more in the skillet here. So I would cook it maybe three minutes to where it's mostly done, but um, maybe still has a few spots that you can see are a little bit gray still where it's maybe just slightly undercooked and uh, and you're good to go so this is a big pot of easy cauliflower and shrimp fried rice at home I would get out my bottle of sriracha <laughs> <laughs> and squirt it over my kids would not they don't dig that but that's it that's all it takes it's just that easy Yum. So be sure to join us on Wednesday when we do cooking one on one. You want to try a little bit? You want to and, up a little uh, bit and try some? Yeah. Okay. And grab a spoon. Or, okay. so we're going to get somebody to try it. See all these veggies? Veggie rich. <laughs> Our token tester. <laughs> <laughs> She's a very willing tester. She is. I she like it. Anything. Okay. Now I haven't tasted it, so you might want more soy sauce. Sorry. Oh wow. <laughs> That's the stuff right there. Mmm. Cauliflower fried rice. It is like rice. <laughs> oh, I'm a believer.